Hey y'all, it's Matt Cameron, and today on Drive the Tailgate, I'm going catfish grabbing on Watts Bar Lake in Roan County. I'm with Wildlife Sergeant Dustin Buttram and Wildlife Officer Ricky Lyle, and we're about to catch some catfish. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yep, looking forward to it, man. And I've, I've been stoked about this one since you and I talked about it probably, what, six, eight weeks ago? Right, yeah. We invited you down to come and go with you, and here we are, about to get to it. So tell me about your experience with the agency, where you work, and how long you've been with us. Okay, so I've been on as an officer for 10 years now. Uh, started out in Wilson County, and then uh, spent about three years there, and then moved to District 31 as a, a full-time boat officer, and uh, I've stuck it out there. That's, that's home for me, the kind of in Putnam County, the Hall, Center Hill Lake, those type areas. So, uh, probably finished my career out and where I'm at, I'd say. So. It's uh, awesome that you'd be able to go back home and yeah, work where you absolutely, grew up. Absolutely. And, and that's kind of the same with you, isn't it, Rick? That's right. Yeah, our stories are pretty similar. Uh, Dustin and I went to college together at Tennessee Tech, uh, hired on together with the agency in 2011. Um, I started out in Stewart County, uh, land between the lakes. A lot of, a lot of, folk, a lot of folks know Stewart County oh, for yeah. land between the lakes. Um, transferred over to Dixon County, my home county, in 2019, so glad to be home. Um, just uh, every day is different. It's always a thrill. So. Good job. It is, and you know, interesting enough, the only time I've ever been catfish grabbing was right here, right after I hired him with uh, Officer Rick Roberts and Jason Lankford. Yeah. They knew a guy that done this down here. He brought us to Watts Bar, and we caught several fish that day. He had holes, um, like pallets and rocks on them, and sure kind of went around and knew where to fish, which sounds like kind of what we're gonna do today, is that right? Yeah, and we're looking for any type of hole that they can get in to nest. I mean, that's what they're doing. They're getting there to spawn out. Uh, some of them are man-made, they're boat ramps. Some of them are, are wooden boxes. Uh, you know, when there's some holes you can just find under under rocks, you know, where they've went under rocks. So anywhere a fish can get in and be safe and pretty much have one entrance, maybe two entrances at most. All right, so tell me what species of catfish are we looking for? So mainly we'll be looking at flatheads today. Uh, we may run into a blue cat. Uh, the water's warm enough that the, the blues have probably already spawned and moved on, but every now and then we still catch a, a, a late blue in here. Uh, but majority, we're looking at uh, flatheads. So we're in the second week of July here. Uh, what's the water temperature? Y'all check? I'd say it's gonna be you know, 81, 82. Okay, and what got you into this? Man, uh, weird enough, I was swimming growing up, swimming in a, a, a river, just uh, one of those deep holes, and uh, saw a catfish go in a hole, and I thought, huh, man, there's a, that, that thing's in that hole. So I went in there, and I thought I was gonna catch the fish, you know? So I stick, stick my hand in, and I, I realized that you don't catch the fish, the fish catches you. <laughs> and uh, so ever, ever since then, you know, I knew that noodling was a thing, and it kind of got me fired up, and started just uh, coming to the lake and trying to find holes, and, I guess been doing it about 15 years now and just uh, come kind of an addiction catching big fish. What about you, Ricky? How'd you get into this? He got me into it, uh, I guess, what, Dustin, seven or eight years yeah. ago. Um, so uh, he uh, showed me the ropes and, man, I've, I've been addicted ever since. So. He's a pro now. He's a pro. I've, nah, I've, I've taught him well. <laughs> All right, man. Y'all ready? Yep. Let's do it. Always the first stop. So do they like spawn, nest up under these ledges and yeah, stuff? Yeah, we'll, we'll dig out from underneath those ramps and uh, roll them out a big hole. It'll kind of feel like a beaver run. You'll you'll feel that it's dished out and cleaned out. There won't be any sealed in it. It'll be a hard bottom. It's kind of got that beaver run feel to it where they've been coming in and out of that hole. We're filling with our feet. Uh, and once we find a hole with our feet, we'll go down with, a, with our hand and with a, that stick. So the stick's just got a metal rod and it's got a flat piece bent down and so the fish is going to bite it and then it will catch it on the bottom lip and just pull it out to us so we can get our hands on it. <laughs> There's a bleeper here. Did you feel that one thump? I did. Is that the fish? Mm -hmm. Can't tell how big he is. I thought it was you. I felt the thump that time. It's a good fish. Yeah, I felt him, man. It's crazy you feel it in the ramp. Yes, like a little earthquake. Is it is it biting you? It's biting the it's biting the stick. I can't get my. I'm gonna try to go down there and just see if he'll bite my hand. As far as you can reach in there. Yeah. So that's a defense mechanism for them. They're just something's invading their nest and they're coming to get it. Right. Okay. 
He had it for a second. Had him on the stick, but he came off. Okay. Different uh, hole from the yeah, one up here. Come stand in this hole just for a second. Make sure there ain't another entrance. It's a pretty big hole. Can't keep your feet. You probably hear me squirrel like a girl if that thing goes up and bites my toes. <laughs> I've had that happen before. <laughs> Wiggle them like a worm, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his skint head. He tried to shoot the hole on me. Persistence pays off. Oh, yeah. Look at the battle wounds on it. Now, what do you think that one weighs? I'd say he's in the 20s. Mouth as wide as my hand. Nice fish. Nice fish. In the thirties on the length. High twenties on the weight. Yeah. Thirty inch length. Yeah. That's safe, like thirty four inches. And it's, so, if we were going to keep these fish, which we're not, you're allowed one over thirty four a day, right? One. Yep. That's correct. If people want to do this. All you need is a fishing license. Yes, sir. One good fishing license, and same as a. Uh, as you would if you're using a fishing rod. We're not gonna keep these, so we're gonna actually take this fish and put him right back in the hole and let him let her, let her finish spawning out and let her get back to business. Go put her back. I'm pushing him to you. Okay. I moved him down. I don't know how far he went. He's over here. Is he? I got him. Put it on my fingertips. Where'd he go? He's in my hand. Okay. I can't get him out of the hole though. <laughs> He's stuck. You still got him? <laughs> can we, can we dig it out? Oh, can we dig it out? Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Yep. <laughs> Let go. Hey, that's a mean one. Not very big, but it's mean. Your your will was stronger than its. I mean, y'all didn't give up. Teamwork on that one. Mm. Uh, what? Just under twenty. Pretty good fish. Oh, or yeah. you have that on the rod and reel. That made your day. You know. Dang right. <laughs> it could eat a pretty good sized meal, couldn't it? You ain't kidding. Here, kitty kitty. <laughs> yeah. First hole, two fish. Left three more in the hole, I think. Okay. You run into many other people out doing this while y'all are doing it? I've seen one other boat, I think, over all the years. Yeah. I'll find their sticks. Now, forget couple, them. Actually, this stick is not mine. I found it. It stuck in a hole. <laughs> Somebody left it. Forgot about it. Show me that stick for a second. If there's, if there's anything special about it? Man, this is actually an old paddle. Uh, but now some uh, steel rod that looks like said, we bend down and kind of flatten out, and some good gorilla tape, and you've got yourself a a Newland fishing pole. He's about where Ricky is. Okay. Uh, probably 15 pound fish. So do I, like. do I run the stick in there, let him yeah. bite and try to so drag him to you me? Want the stick down, the tip hooked down. So the way to do that, I feel, feel the rod. You yeah. know that that goes up. So this fish is all the way back where. Uh, it's about, 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 it's about three, four foot in, straight, straight in where I put it, maybe a little bit to the right. So I'll pull the stick back to me and then put it back in there? As long as you know which side's down, once you know oh, that right, hook's right, down, right. you're good. You'll feel them by it. All right. Send in the search party so I get lost, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if we can reach him or not. Got him. Got him. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I let him go. I had him with my thumb in his mouth and sit on my hand. Should have told you, definitely hand in, not thumb. Yeah. Jim, 
I'll let him get away. Will it go back in the hole or will it run off now? Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Good fish. There he is. Hang on, hang on. I, I just touched his face. Yeah. I'm on him right here. Got that him. Ain't fish. He ain't. I didn't think there's enough room. Oh, there he is. Get, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's a fighter though, wouldn't he? Oh, you want to wear gloves? <laughs> Maybe 10 pounds. Might be a little fighter though. Yes, sir. Nicely done. Dude, I, thought hey, you, I didn't know you had it. I thought he was coming out of the hole. <laughs> Heck yeah. Hurt your hand? Yep. Cheer you up. Oh yeah. Battle wounds. That was a little fish. Let's see how some sharpen them. Yeah. So that's almost like a, a fish hook. Really. Mm -hmm. Getting it up under. Right. Swing it on. <laughs> you think about that? Good find. Ah, good find. That's the second one of the day, is it? Yep. Yeah. That, 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 that goes to show that it's fourth. getting fished. The fourth of July weekend. It's interesting to me though, like Ricky's just jumping out and he's grabbing these. Almost like he planted them there. <laughs> like he's been fishing these holes and he yeah, didn't right. tell you. <laughs> he sore, oh, he sore him out every one of them. Hmm. <laughs> That's the one I left here last week. <laughs> they caught one where they got excited and left it laying on the ground. Probably right. I can see the happening. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, stick oh. it. Well, it's on the ramp. Oh, <laughs> oh my finger, my pinky. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Are you barehanded? <laughs> 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 Catch that one twice. <laughs> Dude, I hooked him good with it. I hooked him real good with it. Had him in the mouth? Yeah. That hook's pretty nice. You know, I know you've talked all day that wasn't your best outing, but there was, what, six or seven opportunities there? Yeah, we didn't capitalize on a few of them, and then sometimes the fish just blew out on us, and I guess that's why they call it fishing. But, uh, didn't see the big fish that we kind of were hoping for, and you know we found evidence that these holes have been fished. You know here recently, we found uh, what, two sticks, two different fishing sticks. So coming off the fourth, you know this is just everybody was off Monday, so today's what today's Thursday. Correct. So they've probably been fishing, you know, the last couple of days on these holes, and that's probably probably some of the reason why we we didn't have uh, success in some of our bigger holes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's to be expected, I guess. Uh around public waterways and you know right here to ramp we put in on come back in found a fish there and had a hold of it twice and rookie mistake didn't have my feet in front of the hole and that thing i felt it shoot right past me yeah it happens to the best of us i promise you man every every trip we end up losing fish it's just sometimes they're just better than us but, yeah, for sure kind of a bummer but uh I've, I've learned quite a bit today about how you grab one you don't grab it like you're picking up a largemouth bass you know with your thumb in its mouth Put your hand in his mouth. Yep, two hands. Couldn't get two it with two. Hands. We had some good laughs though, that's for sure. Indeed. Yeah, seeing you get slapped <laughs> by a fish. <laughs> it made your day, didn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Ricky got his hand chewed up a little bit there. Went all gloveless, so. Souvenir. 
man, and uh, I'd say if, if it's something you want to do, go do it. It's an easy, cheap sport to, to go fishing, and uh, it's a, it's really nothing to be scared of, and a lot, that's a lot of people's fear. We talked about people being afraid of the turtles under there, and once you start finding what a catfish hole is, you'll know there's a catfish in there or, or have been in there, and so it's an easy way to go catch big fish uh, without putting a bunch of money in tackle, rods and reels. Right. And, uh, like I said, we were using a, uh, a paddle, uh, old broken paddle and it worked well for all these years so for five ten bucks you can have the the setup to go noodling real easy or grabbing whatever you want to call it and and, and closing what's the difference in noodling and grabbing do you ever figure that out still waiting on you to tell me <laughs> or why it's called noodling to begin with. the grabbing part i get grabbing makes noodling. more sense I hadn't seen a noodle yet doing this, you know. <laughs> I did. Right here. <laughs> I think we'll end on that, man. Well, fellas, I've, I've had an awesome time. Thank you, I came back and enjoyed it. it. And yes, the, the pleasure's all mine. So uh, We'll do it again. I hope so. I hope look forward to seeing y'all's boys get out there. They're what, ages four and six? And yeah. That's right. Maybe you get them out there and yep. teach your kid how to do it. We may do a show on that. So, yeah, all right. absolutely, man. All right. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you. And, uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Drop the Tailgate. Join us next time for some more fun in the Tennessee Great Outdoors.